Today on the channel, I'm going to show you how to play Hop for Teacher. Hot for Teacher. All right, so this song is going to be a little difficult to teach virtually, but I'm going to do my best. I'm going to show you the ways that it works for me and the way that I've learned it over the years and the way that I hear it. So I think it's pretty close. So before we get into the, the actual nuts and bolts of the lesson, I want to talk about that uh, Van Halen swings, okay? They have a very, very prominent swing style in a lot of their earlier tunes probably because Eddie and Al's dad was a professional jazz musician. And what I mean by swing is it's got a dotted eighth note and uh, or the dotted eighth feel. So it's like da 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 like that. So if you listen to any 50s era swing band music, for instance, Glenn Miller, everybody knows Glenn Miller uh, in the mood. It goes... <laughs> So that's the famous In the Mood song. So it's it's swing. It's got that vibe to it, all right? So playing this song in a swing feel is absolutely essential. And that takes practice and it takes time. So we're going to get to that a little bit later. So the introduction is all finger tapping, as we all know. And it's done over a swing drum beat. Uh, believe it or not, Alex's drum sound and uh, drum part is pretty pretty out there. It's pretty complicated, but he's swinging. So uh, here's how we're going to do this. I'm going to I'm going to tell you guys basically the the frets and and basically the phrase here, the the, the positions and and uh, how this introduction is played, and then give you some tips on how to do finger tapping if you're not familiar. So first and foremost, when you finger tap. You gotta be able to mute. You, get, you learn over time how to mute your string so that there's not a lot of extraneous string noise. So one of the things that I do is I gently lay my hand on the fretboard when I'm finger tapping, and I, I anchor. A lot of times I'll bring my my hand up like this, and then anchor my my the heel of my hand on the string sometimes to to mute it in between tapping. So it's a little bit of a combination of both, but that's something that you learn over time as you do more finger tapping. Okay, so this first pattern in Hop for Teacher uh, is on the 12th fret index finger. Uh, I'm tuned to E flat, by the way. I'm down half a step. So you're gonna you're gonna play the 12th fret, which is an A, and then you're gonna play you're gonna you're gonna pluck this string like this. Open A, then hit C, then E with your pinky, and then back like that so it's, it goes and you're gonna go back down so you you're gonna you're gonna pluck pluck and then you pluck with that string to get the open A so what I did there was I went since we're not picking these notes you have to you have to kind of pull the string down with your fingers to, you just can't rely on it to to just play itself like by hitting it you gotta you gotta give it some kind of movement some kind of momentum I've got my pick underneath my middle finger like that and you have to keep it there because you're gonna need it later so that's another another thing that Eddie does and guys at fingertip uh, finger tap a lot so we're gonna pull off and keep your finger right there near the 12th fret because that finger is gonna stay there for the next three strings for the whole pattern okay so we're gonna pull off like that so you have to get that down I, I suggest practicing it slowly so you can get it down uh, but eventually you got to try it you got to go for it and play it fast so a lot of guitar teachers tell you practice it slow before you go fast and you'll get there. Well, I don't really think that's true. I got bad news for you. I think you got to go for it at some point. You got to keep pushing yourself to the next gear to get to the speed that you want. Even if it sounds terrible, try to play it fast 
then slow yourself back down and focus on technique and the fundamentals and then try to always push yourself so you can play quicker it'll just uh over time it works out better i think and you'll eventually get to the speed that you want a lot faster so we're going to go like this and it does it four times <laughs> And then the next phrase is going to bring this hand up two frets. You're still going to stay on the 12th fret. You're going to pull off. And I'm going to, I'm going to pull that string off so that, a, so that A will play. So we're going. Probably the hardest part about this tapping lick for me was doing the descending run. The that thing going up was always easy but going back down for me was tough so the next thing you're gonna you're gonna do is go to the D string and do exactly the same thing that we did on the very first phrase you're gonna pull off and then hammer on the third and then go up there to the seventh and then now on that last thing I just did there, he ends on, on that note. So I'm going to play it up to speed for you so you can see what I did and you can hear it. So these are four, that goes four times, four times, and then three times. And at the very end of that, it ends with your pinky. So I'll do that again. Then we go to the G string and we do this twice. Both one, both goes twice. The first pattern is here, the second pattern is up, up there. That last time it just does it once and it descends back down to this ninth fret with your pinky. So it so all together, I'll do it, do it slowly. All right, cool. And then that, the very final lick that it goes to, that's a tapping lick before it starts playing rhythm with your pick, is he goes. So what I did there now, what I did there is this re repetitive pattern. Now Eddie in his playing does a lot of shapes and a lot of uh, the same thing uh, linearly. So we're on the 12th fret and if this is all a, A descending thing and he does this twice so it's 12th and then it's gonna be uh, 10 11 12 9 10 11 12 <laughs> 8 <laughs> 12 8 5 12 8 7 5 and then same thing on the B string G string D string and then A string all the way down to the low E. A lot of times I don't get that low E part in there. I'll just play the uh, and slide down because I got to get ready to, to play the next part. So the the final phrase in that uh, intro, you want to do that twice. So I hope that makes sense. He's just going. Now that last chord is uh, an F minor seven. So basically the way to think of that is an A. And I'm just playing A on the, the open A, E, A. And then I'm putting a thumb over the F sharp like that. This is a great chord for rock and metal. Uh, it's awesome. You can do like, uh, you can play this anywhere. So 
So what I'm doing is I'm just playing the root with my, <laughs> on those things, I'm playing the root with my, my middle finger and I'm taking my pinky and my ring finger on the D and the G string and I'm going to... It's kind of a John Sykes chord, like a white snake thing. So anyway, it goes... So it's that F sharp over an A chord, which that's an F minor or an F minor seven. And that's where you can really feel the boogie, feel the, uh, the swing going on. Now, Eddie likes to play partial bar chords, uh, so he never really plays full bar chords. So a lot of the song is going to be played off the D and the G string. So a lot of these chord shapes coming up are going to be just your index finger playing the two middle strings on the fretboard. So to get into that riff, it's... You see, I don't really play that last E string. And then I'm going fifth fret down to fourth. So So what he did there is he's going open D and G, just the, the open strings by themselves. So I'm hammering on, I'm going first to second. So let me repeat that. So I'm going to take it from that hammer on. He goes back into that boogie. All right, now this is this is a really cool lick. So he goes up to the um, the tenth, and he's playing. He's kind of playing all three strings here to make that that triad, you can hear that major third in there. So we're doing the D, G, and B string. So he's going on the 10th fret, and then the 7th fret, then the 4th fret, then this thing again. So. Then an E. A. All right, so that may be a lot to swallow for a lot of you guys that haven't played this or aren't familiar with it. So, um, but trust me, this is uh, the hardest part about this is getting that swing uh, boogie groove going, and I really struggle with that too. Uh, so, after that tapping part. <laughs> What I did is I kind of hit it with my pinky and then it gives me a ch or my index finger gives me a chance to get my pick ready. That's just how I've adapted over the years. So let me do this in slow motion. I'm going. And uh, I just went. I don't think he does that, but I do it. Maybe he does. 
Yeah, I th maybe he does that. <laughs> so do it. <laughs> Okay, so now we're into the verse. And this is also the chorus of the song. So he rolls back on the volume. So we're gonna, I'm full blast right now. Full volume distortion. So Eddie likes to roll back and get a clean signal. He likes to bring it back and go like this. So Eddie really didn't change his tone at all for the entire set. He would balls out distortion and then roll it back and clean it up. So you got to get really handy with uh, not only going from tapping and using your pick, then you got to get to turning down your volume really, really quickly. And that's why Eddie has these volume knobs set where you can just, they're low resistance. So you can really just flick this volume switch and roll back, roll it back easily and, and quickly. That's one great thing about this Frankie is you can just flip it and it's off. So I'm going to roll it back and get this kind of tone. Now Eddie puts his pick back in his fingers like this. So he went, rolls back, <laughs> sticks the pick between his thumb or his uh, middle finger and the palm of his hand. So what I'm doing is I'm picking with a claw like this. I'm actually picking with his finger that's holding this pick and these fingers are open and I'm picking the the low A string and the two middle strings and I'm playing an A chord and then I'm taking my pinky and I'm putting it on that fifth fret right there which is a C so I'm gonna get a little theoretical on you music theory that's an A minor chord what makes it so cool is he bends that note to a C sharp, which makes it, that's the blues, right? So he's kind of going minor, major, and Eddie, Eddie switches between major, minor, and his solos, his parts all the time. It's very awesome. It's very kind of Mixolydian sounding. Uh, it's just killer, so. So what I'm doing is just uh, with the right hand, it's kind of a hybrid thing. So try to get that roll down, that little hybrid thing that's happening. You're just low A, plucking the middle strings. Everything is all together in the beginning like this. And then what he does there is he goes. So what I did with that is I plucked the, the low A string with my index finger and I go. So I'm going. So that's open, fifth, sixth, seventh on the A string, then the D string on the fifth fret. And then I'm taking my pinky and my ring finger, which is a D chord. I'm playing this a part of the D chord right there on the seventh fret. It's kind of like going, but I'm just bending it. The beauty in that is it's just playing the major third of that D chord. It's very separated. And when you bend it, both strings kind of go at different pitches at the same time, which gives it even a little bit more of a, a bluesy feel. So it's... All right, and so then it kicks into the super heavy distorted part. And a lot of times I think Eddie's just going. 
he turns his volume back up. You hear how that all that distortion is there? So we went from... <laughs> So what I'm doing there is I'm going So this is just like going It's just the octave down. I'm taking this C and I'm making it a C sharp. And then I'm going I'm starting a slide from the 3rd fret with my ring finger. I'm doing a double stop, which is a C, on the 5th fret, and then going just like the other part. So essentially that's all he's doing is going... But he's putting all those cool little eddy licks. All right, so then it goes pre-chorus. I think of all the education that I miss. So you can play this all with your pointer finger, index finger. So we're going eight, seven, five, seven. And I'm sliding into that, that eighth. And then this one goes up to the A. 14, 12, 11, 12. So it goes. And then he goes up to this fret, which is the 15th fret, which is technically a B flat. He goes all the way down to the D. So it's a chromatic. So we'll take that little pre course again. I guess a, a cool little picking trick I'm doing there is I'm going. What makes that really cool and totally Van Halen is he's playing the, the D string on that and then he's hitting the, he's hitting the major third. So it gives it that tonality. You can hear those major chords just going. Then he goes back into the chorus. Which is back to the E. So that's that's pretty much the the song. Now I'm not going to do the solo. Uh, maybe a different video, uh, but I'm just trying to to teach the main nuts and bolts of the song because the solo goes. <laughs> There's some kind of crazy stuff in there, so I got to brush up on that a little bit. But that's the the main part of the song right there is is the, the intro tapping part. The little finger picking clean versus then it kicks in the I think of all the education that I miss. And then finally, at the very end of the song, 
it's got this really wicked cool tremolo picking thing and uh, where he says oh my god so he plays an open G <laughs> So what we're going to do there is tremolo pick. Now Eddie tremolo picks like this. He, he takes the pick like this and he flutters. He does this butterfly thing. I don't know how on earth he does it, but he does it. What I do, and the way I've learned and with my style, is I, I always anchor my pinky to the body of the guitar. And I... I angle my pick like this. My pick is angled kind of weird. It's not not a lot of pick showing, and it's it, it's kind of angled into the string a little bit. I wish I had another camera so I could have a, some different angles, but but I don't. So so what we're gonna do is go. So it's, it's almost like a G major scale, but he skips a couple notes. It's going to be open G, second fret, and then we're going to go to the fourth, fifth, sixth, then he's going to skip up to the twelfth, which is an octave G, fourteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth, and then... On the B string, we're going to be on the 15th fret. 17, 19, 20. So we're going to go. And then the finale is an A to a G, E, C, A. Repeat. Good luck. Happy practicing. If you like this video, subscribe and leave a comment below.